Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Master 3 LE. I think that LE stands for Light Edition. I'm completely new to this, green as hell. I've never had anything like it. And I'm a bit phobic about this kind of stuff. I think it's all going to be a hell of a learning curve. And the given this was sent to me for free, I thought we'd go down that rabbit hole together and see how difficult it is. I'll be using my usual point scoring system. One dim sum for bad, five dim sum for good. Here's something I wish I knew before a SIM machine. You'll get through it all and you would found this SIM card in a USB looking dongle type thing and stuck it in the machine. Before you assemble the machine, find that USB dongle and stick it in your laptop. Open up the file, drag everything to your desktop off of that dongle and have a look at everything in there. There you're going to find the instructions, some other bits and pieces, but most importantly the instructions because the instruction book that you get with a laser, yeah, they're, they're not the best. They're a bit blurry and you can't really see what you're doing. Um, with this, makes it all so much easier. It's the plumber. Plumber? I didn't call it plumber. One more thing. Ha, ha, ha.
like the first downside I've found to this. There's three pieces of software you can use with it. Only one of them runs on a Mac computer. There is Laser Explorer 2 that runs on an iPad or an iPhone. You've got Laser GRBL, which you can use on a Windows computer or Link Linksys or however you pronounce that. Only choice for Mac is Lightburn, which is paid. You get a free trial. Uh, so we're going to install that and see, how, see where we go from there. Claims are bold. <laughs> Master Ellie say cuts ten mil in one death pass. to replicate that. I know not what to do about it. This is what it can do. Just quickly, I'm going to give you enough information to get you started using Lightburn. The grid in front of you was all set up when you set up the laser and light burn earlier. It would always open like this with this laser selected. Let's say we want to make a business card. Select a tool, the box tool, 
For now, this is just going to show me what I need to work inside of. Somehow, somewhere, you would have had to make your graphics like these. I use Illustrator. There's free versions like Inkscape for Mac. I can't say anything for PC, though. I must stress to you, though, this was my biggest learning curve. Lightburn is not software for graphics. It does the basic stuff to get you by, but it's not for graphics. It's really just somewhere where you put your stuff so it can turn it into code. With everything you do, you want to have everything as its own layer, just like Photoshop works. Select the graphic, go to the bottom and select the color. Then you'll see the layer is color coded. You need to do this because each pick typeface needs its own power and speed settings. You will have to play around to find out those because it depends on what surface you're working with. In order to change the speed and power settings, select the layer in the layers panel, double click on it and enter the values you want. That border I mentioned earlier at the beginning, turn that layer off by toggling off that knobby thing. To find out how long this will take to burn, go up to the little TV screen icon up the top and that will show you if you click on that. The best way to think about this is speed and power dictate your depth of cut to give you either a burn or an engraving or a cut. When it comes to cutting, you'll want to up the pass count. Again, you need to find out how many passes you need it because it really depends on the material you've used. For all of you that have made it this far and want to buy this laser, I've made a spoil grid burn file for you for light, for light burn. The link will be below and it's free. You'll have to work out your speed and power settings though as I keep stressing. Cheers. So if you like the cut of my jib, please like and subscribe, share if you're really feeling kinky, and uh, we'll see each other again. Be lucky.